John Brown am now quite certain that the crimes of this guilty land will never be purged away but with blood. John Brown was hanged December 2nd, 1859 for treason, murder, and conspiring with slaves. After John Brown's hanging, tensions in the town were high. Fearing further attacks, slave owners decided to keep a closer eye on their slaves. No slaves of mine are going to revolt against me. The town started a militia company and they patrolled the streets of Harper's Ferry. Who's your husband going to vote for? Lincoln. He's going to win. My husband works at the Armory. The boss is making all the workers vote for Douglas or they're going to be laid off. Well, Lincoln's going to win. Well, I mean, he's not even on the ballot in some states. You know, Douglas is going to lose. Man, if Lincoln wins this thing, it's going to make a lot of people angry. Our lives depend on it. The 1860 presidential election polling placed in Jefferson County, Virginia. John Bell, Stephen Douglas, Abraham Lincoln, and John Breckenridge were all candidates, but Lincoln wasn't on the ballot here or many other places. The town voted Alfred Barber to represent them and vote no for Virginia seceding. I trust you. Yeah. Make it a double. When Barber went to vote in Richmond, he went against his word that he gave to the townspeople and voted for the Virginia secession. What? I thought you were supposed to voice our opinion. You're mad too? I, th I thought I knew what was best. And doing what you were, what was best is doing whatever you want? Lieutenant Roger Jones was in command at the Union garrison of 42 troops. Jones's job was to protect the federal property at the armory and arsenal. He heard of Virginia's intention to capture Harper's Ferry. He acted quickly. My determination is to destroy what I cannot defend. Jones ordered his men to spread kegs of gunpowder throughout the armory and arsenal buildings and waited. Less than 24 hours after Virginia's secession, sentries informed Jones that several thousand Virginia militia had arrived on Bolivar Heights, though in reality there was only about 340 men. At about 10 p.m., Jones ordered the powder cakes to be ignited and the buildings went up in flames. Many townspeople formed a bucket brigade to help put out the fires because they feared they'd lose their jobs. Although they saved the armory, southern militia soon arrived and took the machines. The Harper's Ferry Armory and Arsenal never reopened. Many people left Harper's Ferry to escape battles and invasions to capture the useful town. Houses were ruined and the armory was destroyed, leaving people homeless and without jobs. Families broke apart. Before the war, there were about 3,000 people in Harper's Ferry, but the numbers dwindled down so much that by the end of the war, there was only about 20 families left. <laughs>